We call Randy White Manster around here, and that's, you know what a Manster is, just half man, half monster. And he's the strongest man on the team, and he's one of, he's a super competitor. I mean, the guy has only one speed, and it's top speed. My attitude was uh, defeat the guy in front of me and get the guy with the ball, uh, whether it was a running back or the quarterback. I was one of those guys at Dallas that really felt like he should be our middle linebacker because I had played against Dick Butkus and Randy White to me was the closest thing to Dick Butkus that I'd ever seen and he could uh, outrun Dick Butkus. He had that mean streak in him that, that Dick Butkus had. You know, I was against moving the tackle, but it became a perfect position for him. The thing that makes Randy White so great is that he never treats anybody different. I don't care whether you're playing the best football player as an offensive line or the worst one. Randy White to me would have to be the finest defensive lineman along with Deacon Jones that I've ever seen play football. The most dedicated 100% player that I've ever seen and he's as good a defensive player as I've ever been around. He's got the motor. He never stops. He never thinks he's out of a play. And he inspires everybody else by his play, I think. He's got a great heart, great pride. With the determination of a pit bull, White won most of the battles in the pit. But there was one long forgotten lineman that White just could not defeat. I can't remember the guy's name, but every time he'd play this guy, he could not whip him. I mean, he, he was just bothering the death. You know, Randy, he just would get Randy's number. and. Randy just could not deal with him, and so Randy started doing some other stuff to him, like poking him and stuff, doing things that are like against the rules to try to beat him. And uh, after about the third time he played him, the guy came over to Randy and says, you know what, your nickname is wrong. He said, you're not uh, the manster, you're the manhole, part man, part hole. <laughs> In addition to giving Manster his nickname, Charlie Waters called the defenses in the huddle and occasionally delivered messages to White from head coach Tom Landry. Coach Landry comes over to me and says, Hey, Charlie, I want you to tell Randy to quit jumping off sides. He had jumped off sides two times prior uh, in the game. And uh, so I trot back on the field. I go, okay, Coach, got it, you know. So I trot back on the field, and I get in the huddle, and I go, okay, we're going to run this defense here. We're going to double this guy over here. And, we, you know, and we break the huddle, and I turn to Randy. I said, oh, yeah, Randy, Coach Landry tells me to uh, tell you to keep up the good work. <laughs> I was no way was I going to reprimand Lan uh, the master for uh, uh, jumping off sides because uh, he scared me to death.